seriously don't know how much more I can take. It's like he doesn't even notice me. He just makes me feel so insignificant. How do you make you feel insignificant? <sighs> okay, let me give you an example. Boom, take my hair. Girl, I spent all day trying to get this hair right. And I guarantee you when he gets here, he's not even gonna notice. Nah, that's messed up for real. Okay, so now you feel me. Mm -hmm. I'm just so over him and me being the only one in this relationship trying. Oh, sure. I think that's him at the door, girl. I'm going to call you back. Oh, okay, girl. Make sure you tell me everything. I'm going to tell you everything. I'm going to call you back. I got to go. Bye. All right. Hey, baby. Hey. Come in. Uh, no tip? Oh, sorry. Did you cook? No, I didn't get a chance to. I told you my stove isn't working. I told you I know someone who could fix that for you. You know, you look different. <laughs> Surprised you noticed. Of course I noticed. But there's nothing to be embarrassed about. 100 sit-ups a day can fix all of that, okay? All of what? What are you talking about, Jaden? Baby, what are you having here to eat? I'm starving. I knew you would be hungry, so just look over there. Look, in the bag. I stopped by and got you some wings from your favorite wing spot. Hey, I had that for lunch. Look, what you gonna do because I know you need to eat wings. Uh-uh, I got me the shrimp pasta from the Italian restaurant. That is what I'm talking about. Look, I'ma just eat this shrimp pasta, okay? Well, I guess I'm not hungry. He did say, you know what I'm just tripping about your stomach being all out of control anyway. Out of control? I didn't say that. You said, you know what? I don't even worry about it. Just eat it. I eat the damn salad. It's an impossible thing. Mm. So since it was my turn to pick, I found us a really good movie on Netflix. Babe, <laughs> look, I. I had a really stressful day today at work. I just want to watch some Sports Center and catch up on my games. Uh, come on, babe. I've been looking forward to watching this all week. Okay, well, how about we watch it next Friday? I don't want to watch it next Friday, babe. I want to watch it now. Why are you tripping? Why does everything have to be about you? So that's how you feel? Yes. Okay, look, Jayla. When we first started dating, you used to do so much. You used to buy me flowers, you used to compliment my hair, you used to take me out on dates, but now it's like you don't even notice me. Like, what are we even doing here? I did not come over here to argue with you. At least let me finish watching the highlights. I haven't even met your family. You haven't even met mine. I mean, I just met your friends a couple of weeks ago. Where's this relationship going, Jaden? I mean, we just started dating, what, six months ago? And there's been no progress. So what are you saying, Celeste? I don't know. <sighs> I guess I'm just trying to find out. What, what are you feeling, babe? I'm having a good time with you. <laughs> having a good time? Yes. I don't feel like we have to define anything right now. Well, I do. Look, I see you're having a moment, so I'm just going to go. Wow, so you really just going to leave? I don't know what you want from me. Wow. If this is too much for you, Celeste, then I get it. Do you even want this relationship, Jaden? I like you, but I'm afraid you're, you're requiring too much and I can't give it to you. And I was really starting to have some true feelings for you. Jalen, and I thought you were too. You know, you're being really emotional right now. I don't know what it is, but I, I don't know what you want from me. I just came over here to chill with you, but I see that's not gonna happen, so I'm just gonna go. 
Yeah, you do that. Go, please, just go. And don't call me until you grow up. You want something to drink? Yeah, some water. Oh, girl. So, I'm just like, how are you feeling? Mm-hmm. He said, I'm having a good time. What? <laughs> yeah, so, listen. So, to say I was upset is an understatement. Yeah. Where else it is? I mean, I know you said he was immature, but damn. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we are definitely not on the same page. At all. But you know what? We going out tonight. No, uh -uh. I don't want to go out. Come no. on. I know you don't want to go out, but what I'm not about to do is let you sit up in here soaking over Jalen done behind. I'm not soaking. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just sad. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing, boo. Which is why we finna get you up out of this house and into these Atlanta screens. Girl, you know what they say? The best way to get over women is to get Oh! <laughs> you are so nasty. Okay, yeah. and that's why you love me. Oh my God. So, what you gonna wear? You expecting company? That's probably the guy that's gonna fix my soul. Oh, okay. yes, yeah, about time, girl. You need to get that raggedy stove fixed. I've been missing your cooking. <laughs> 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 oh. Hi. Hello. Uh, are you here to fix the stove? Yes, I am. <laughs> you don't look like you're dressed to fix anything. Oh, I apologize. I'm actually the owner of the company, and the guy that was supposed to come had an emergency. Okay, well, thank you for such great customer service. I'm really glad you're here. But are you sure? I mean, I would hate for you to mess up your clothes. For me. <laughs> oh. These clothes, don't worry about these clothes. You're my priority. Oh, okay. Well, come on in. Come in. Oh, yeah, the stove's gonna be right over here. All right. Uh, the stove is right here. All right. All right. I'm not meeting things. Yeah, shouldn't take me a minute. Girl. Girl. Mm, what? Girl, do you see this car he's driving? Okay, it's nice. Nice? Girl, that is a phantom. It's a phantom. <laughs> and what's your point? Okay, let me line this out for you because clearly you, you don't understand. <laughs> Your boyfriend, uh, well, your ex-boyfriend, came up in here acting like the idiot he is. Then he left you feeling bad about yourself. Now, this well-dressed, clearly successful man just walked through your front door. And you still not getting it. Get what, April? The hands of Jesus Christ, girl. <laughs> the Lord just sent this Fine man to your front door. I'm talking Amazon Prime style. And you're standing there acting like the Lord ain't never done nothing for you. Girl, you better thank the Lord. Thank God. <laughs> Girl. That man is too old for me. Listen. Zaddy might be a little older than you. But he definitely don't look old. Hmm. You're right about that. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure he's taken. He probably has somebody. Well, I didn't see no ring on his finger besides that glass ring. Girl, you do know not all married people wear wedding rings, right? That's true. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, you ready for me? Yes, it's an easy fix. Okay. I just need to change your heating elements. Sometimes okay. they get worn out, and that's why your oven's not heating properly. Got it. I just need to go back to the shop and get the parts, and I can be back here in roughly an hour. Okay, well, should I pay you now? No, this is on me. Okay, are you sure? Positive, no worries. Okay, well, thank you. 
You're welcome. And uh, I'm sorry, I don't have the paperwork with me. What's your name? Oh, I'm Celeste. And what was your name again? I'm sorry. Oh, you can call me Zaddy. What? <laughs> I'm joking. Listen, I heard you and your friends talking and she called me Zaddy. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that was a bad joke. Very unprofessional. I'm sorry. My name is Anthony, but you can call me Tony. It's fine. And I'm sorry you even overheard that. <laughs> sorry, we were just joking. It's all good. It's all good. But your friend is right. Right about what? I'm not taking I'm single. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was a bad joke. Yeah. And very unprofessional. Let me stop embarrassing myself and get out of here. I'll be back with the parts, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Right. You can just let yourself out. Okay. Thanks a lot, April. He heard everything. Okay, well, he must have liked what he heard because you ain't see him. He was just teasing. <laughs> and he let me know he coming back. Yeah, it's to fix the oven. Well, you know, damn well he could have sent another repairman. Girl, he is coming back to see you. And you know he like you because he made a point of letting you know he was single. So let's stand daddy. You see, he did a treat. Hey, K got S-I-N-T. Yo, grow up. Hey, grow up. Hey. Did you think he liked me for real? Yes, girl, I know he do. Now hurry up, get in there and get cute before he get back. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he gonna think I'm trying to get cute for him? Oh my God, who cares? Why are you overthinking everything? Oh, girl. I would love to see how this play out, but I gotta go pick Trey up from school. Oh, yes. But listen, you have nothing to lose. If he likes you, just give him a chance. Age ain't nothing but a number, especially when you that fine. Girl, get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> and tell my guy, baby, I love him. Okay, I will. Oh, and let me know when he leaves. Okay. That's it, he leaves. Get out, baby, <laughs> please. <laughs> All right, girl, bye. bye. It's crazy. That <laughs> man is not thinking about me. But I'm gonna just get cute just in case. Good. Okay, lights on. Hey, I told you it was an easy fix. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. No problem. I have been without my stove for too long. <laughs> you must cook a lot. I do. Nah, that was up. You don't find too many women that can cook nowadays. Yeah, well, my mama taught me well. So. <laughs> Look, are you sure I don't owe you anything? I'm positive. You don't owe me anything. Well, thank you again. I'm ready. <laughs> Let me get on out of here and let you enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Anthony. Yes. Since you fixed my oven, no charge. At least let me make dinner for you. You want to cook for me? Yeah. I mean, unless you have other plans. Oh, no. I don't have no plans. Okay, well, I have a seat. I'm honored. Can I sit this seat? Uh -huh. Now that was honestly the best meal I had in a long time. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, I can't cook, but hopefully I, I can take you out to dinner sometime this week. Yeah, I would like that. Okay, you just let me know when and where, and it's a date. Okay, I will. <laughs> Your hair look different from earlier. I like that. So, <clears throat> let me get this straight. You're beautiful, have a beautiful home, and you're an awesome cook. Tell me, why are you single? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know, I guess I'm just meeting a wrong man. Or maybe it's me. Why are you single? Well, uh, I was married. I know we met in college, had two kids, and that's it. it. Just didn't work out. Wow. 
So you have two kids. Well, they are adults now. So how many do you have? Oh, <laughs> I don't have any kids. I do not want any right now. <laughs> <laughs> I understand Ew. that. I understand that. So what do you do for work? I am a realtor. Really? Mm -hmm. I might be able to throw some business your way. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Not only do I own the four repair shops, mm -hmm. I flip houses on the side. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I would love that. You could throw some business my way. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Let's see if we can make that happen. Okay. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> Dang, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh my God, are you serious? Oh man, where did the time go? Listen, I have to show a property in three hours. And I have a staff meeting at the same time, so even though I don't want to, I guess I better get out of here. Right. It's been fun. Yeah, no, no. Thank you. I cannot believe we've been talking this long. Yes, <laughs> but I enjoyed every minute of it. It was great getting to know you. You're an amazing woman. I didn't want this to end. Yeah, I felt the same. Yeah. So, when can I take you out? Please let it be soon. <laughs> um, how about tomorrow at 7? Okay. But well, can I call you later? Sure. All right. I'm going to let you go so you can get your day started and I'll talk to you. So. All right. Well, you have a good day. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great day because <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about you all day. <laughs> Day. Stop it. Gotta be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just when I thought I couldn't love no more, you opened the door to my heart, and I smiled. For once in my life, I felt like a queen. That's when I knew you were the one. I jokingly call you Zaddy, but you know that you're my king. I never felt this way before. I feel like it's a dream. Restored my faith in love, heaven sent from above. Daddy, you make me feel like I'm the one, like I've always wanted to feel. I know this love is real, Daddy. Age ain't nothing but a number. Why do I feel so nervous? Don't be nervous, baby. I hope I didn't put too much salt on the salmon and I just can't get these flowers right. Like, shh. Celeste, the flowers are fine and the salmon is cooked to perfection. Stop putting so much pressure on yourself, baby. Maybe I just want everything to be perfect. Aren't you nervous to meet my friends and family? A little bit, but worrying ain't gonna help me. And it ain't gonna help you either. I know our family and friends are gonna love you, baby, because I love you. Okay? Aww. <laughs> I love you too. <sighs> okay. Okay. Now sit down. I got something I want to give you before everyone gets here. What? What's this? It's a little token of my love. There you go. Oh my God, baby. 
glad you like it, baby. Oh my God, baby, you didn't have to do this. I know I didn't, but I wanted to. <sighs> Celeste, despite our age differences, you match me in every way. So I'm gonna do everything in my power to keep you happy and put a smile on your face, just like that. <laughs> okay, Zaddy. Come here, give me those lips. All right. <laughs> uh-uh. Girl, why every time I see y'all, y'all lock your lips? Like, remind me to get my key back for I got you. What key? You're not my key. What's up, baby? <laughs> hey, Tony. Okay, look, everybody should be coming in about 30 minutes. Hey, can you please sit and try to fix these flowers? Mm -hmm. And daddy's calling me so we can make sure the bathroom's are clean. Oh, and remember you're supposed to fix the shot. I got the flowers. Come in. Jalen. Oh, hey, April. Uh-uh, you can't be here. I heard somebody knocking on the... Jalen. What are you doing here? I, um... I told him he couldn't be here. Let me explain. Listen, I really appreciate you coming here to try to explain the reason why you acted the way you did. But you are about three months late with that explanation. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm seeing somebody else now, and I would really appreciate if you leave before he came down here. I understand you're seeing someone else, but... But nothing, Jalen. You need to leave. You don't understand. You lower your voice. Okay, you walked out on me. Why are you in your feelings? You're right. You're right. I'm definitely in my feelings. I just, I've been thinking about you. I've been wanting to call you and I tell you. your voice. I've been wanting to let you know that I miss you and I love you. Okay? And I, I admit that I messed this whole situation up and I'm sorry for treating you the way that I did. Don't do this to me, Jayden. Not now. Anyway, it's too late. I know it's too late. So why are you here? I don't want to be not like this. So let's imagine my dad shooting me a text and telling me that he wants me to meet and have dinner with his new girlfriend. And when I put in the address, it brought me here. Wait, what? So what are you saying? Hey. Hey, glad you made it. How you doing? I'm good. Thanks for coming, man. And thanks for picking up the flowers. And baby, I want to introduce you to my son. Celeste, this is Jalen. Jalen, this is Celeste, my lady. Nice to meet you. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Baby. Well, I'll be there. Okay. Oh, God. <sighs> Baby, I just had the strangest dream. I dreamt it. I'm so sick. It wasn't a dream. Oh.